What does your new year look like to you? This is a very important question because we want to ask ourselves, what do we want the year to be like? How do we want it to look? What do we want to achieve? What do we want to change? And what are we grateful for now and then? When we begin to understand that we are the architect, the planner of our own life, we begin to realize the power that we truly have. When we realize that, we realize that we can change everything. So what are you going to do this coming year? What are you going to change and what are you going to keep? What are the things that need to be changed? What are the things that you're realizing right now that you want to change? Whether it's your personal life, your career, your purpose, charity work that you're doing, Things that you haven't been completely honest with or authentic with or things that you have to come to terms with this year. On the other side, what do you want to keep? What are you grateful for? What do you want to keep solid through this year? And remember that and keep that cognitive when you're thinking about the things that you want to change. You know, you want to think about also the fact that You have a vision. So when we're thinking about what we want to change and what we want to keep, we want to create a vision board. And I know that you've heard that probably on several different videos with several different people, but you want to create a vision board to reinforce what it is that you want to create for yourself that you don't already have. I have a vision board that I'm creating right now. I'm creating things that I want to do, the things that I've always wanted to do as a child. The things that really matter to me, some people call it a bucket list, other people call it goals, dreams, childhood desires, but also the things that you really want to see yourself doing, the things you want to achieve. You can write also a mantra list, a positive affirmation list of who you are, what you want to achieve, coupled with the vision board. So you see it, you read it, you think it. And that is the way that we create the things in our future. And remembering that we are the architect of our own life. We have the plans. We have the blueprints to who we are. And we can use those either in a positive way, in a negative way, or in a way to just hold ourselves back. So it's up to you to realize how do you want this new year to look? How do you want it to be? What do you want to get rid of? And what do you want to keep? In the new year... I want you to continue to live your true life.